Hi, we welcome you back inside the broadcast booth here at Lotto Rink. Merrimack gets set to take on UNH. Now Gildon for UNH sends it up the wall. Knocked out of the zone, out to center. Here comes Sato into the Merrimack zone. He's in alone. He scores! On the breakaway, Kohi Sato, who picks up his fourth goal of the year. Mike, he was behind the play. And he was opportunistic. He breaks in on the breakaway. Goal number four at 12:51. One nothing. UNH gains pos uh, keeps possession of the puck. Now they'll work it back up on top for Cassetti in behind the UNH goal. Back up on top. Here's Tyler Drevich. Quick shot. Score! Carlisle took the shot, and it may have been redirected, Mike, on the way through. But Declan Carlisle should get the goal, and we're tied one to one. Nolan trying to work it toward the front of the goal. He couldn't get the shot away. UNH back. Could be a breakaway here. Soto. He's going to be in alone for another breakaway attempt. And Hudemop makes the save on the breakaway. Soto bidding for his second goal of the game, Mike. And Hudemop with the save of the game. Sent in wide of the Warrior goal. Height looking for a clear, dangerous clear. Gildon keeps in inside the center point. Rotates it to the far circle. Gildon holding, looking. Shot score. Max Gildon did it all himself. Yep. And he beats Hunema with the backhander at 5.09. UNH has taken the lead by a score of 2-1. Beautiful play by Max Gildon to Ewens. Ewens cross ice Carlisle. They edge of the far circle. They move it toward the goal. Kimmins trying to work it in front. Ewens has a shot score! Zach Ewens ties the game on the power play. 15-52 will be the time. And it took him only 14 seconds on the power play to tie it up. Ewens with the goal, 2-2. Two to two. As a tie, 2-2 two -two our score here with all the action, John Lee. Thanks, Mike. UNH brings in the offensive zone. Pearson shot blocked. He gets the loose puck. Back here to save Hudema. Rebound score. Kelleher puts it through the pads of Hudema with 27 seconds gone. In the overtime, Kelleher just tapped it through the pads. And UNH wins it. 27 seconds into overtime. Charlie Kelleher will get the goal for UNH. And the Wildcats, after losing at Bentley in overtime 3-2 last Friday, they pick up a 3-2 win on the road here tonight.